Hey guys, welcome to the STV Podcast, episode one. This is our pilot episode. I'm Audi. I'm Varun. I'm Brad. I'm Parab. I'm AJ. This is So the podcast will be on YouTube and other sources like that. We'll hit you up in the next episode. Like that. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, so we're here. We're here to discuss current events, controversial topics, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, what do you guys want to join? With? I mean, start. I well, think I was thinking, I was thinking Jesus a while back. Versus <laughs> they swear, no, no one Oz laughed. Is kind of the, he's kind of the dim one in the group. He may, his his commentary may not always be the most erudite, but <laughs> we enjoy having him here nonetheless. All right, I think as uh... I was saying, as okay. So, a couple weeks ago. We and we're exploring the moral dilemma of what would happen if you had an infinite bowl of milk. I think that's an important topic that pertains to today's society. I think we should discuss that. Well, I think it it kind of splits down into two clear choices. Either you use the milk in a more kind of humanitarian way. You uh, you provide you solve world hunger. You um, you provide nourishment to the masses. Or you do the same Very thing that of a food for a price. For a price. Nutrients? I don't know. Milk's pretty nutritious. It's got calcium, makes your bones strong. It's good for you, yeah. A lot of people are lactose intolerant, though. I'm or, lactose intolerant. That's true. He's I drink almond yeah, milk but, every but day. But nobody cares about you, Odd. Well, I mean, he's right. You could get hit with a <laughs> lawsuit if you were to give money. the milk to someone who's lactose intolerant. No, wait, wait, wait. You yeah, can sell the milk You don't care. You're like you... the savior of... Okay, here. Oh, sorry, you, sell, you sell the milk for profit and then you use the money to help people out. Because money is more valuable than but milk. how much milk are you going to sell? You're going to oversaturate the market, aren't you? <laughs> exactly. You become the market. You what? are the price. <laughs> that's, not how, that's not how... That's not how... it so cheaply that the right. competition can't... Here's a plan. Here's a plan. You are one man. I mean, is one is kind of right. Here's, Here's a plan. Right. You have an you infinite supply. You don't, you don't care plan. if the value is driven. Look, You're look. not paying anything for it. You sell the are milk you to, become rich or are you to the farmers. Are you trying to become? Are you Wait, trying to become the, rich, or are you trying to? Like, the thing is, the thing is, even if you become rich, um, how do you get your foot in the door? Because obviously, if you have like, if you happen to know, like, plant or something, you can put your infinite milk supply to the test. But if you don't have all those resources, how do you go convincing people you have an infinite supply of milk without them like stealing it or something? It's like, a locker. Uh, it's like if you already have a little bit of capital, you can hire some, like, uh, some private security, right? If I don't know, bro. Capital, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure private security firms don't don't do it from. They don't. I mean, I'm not saying we pay I mean, them a bill. We already have no, 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 the capital. Vern Ver, Ver brings up a good point here. How are you? Small. Start out small. You sell your milk in organic farmers markets. They're like, wow, this milk is really <laughs> fresh. And it's really it is. But, but we like never discerned the quality of the milk from the beginning. What if the milk is like true. really it's horrible milk. milk? It's fresh milk. It's fresh milk. Why would it be? Well, you, what do you mean fresh? What does fresh mean? Like straight I, I don't associate milk in a the bowl with fresh milk. Straight is it the treated cow. milk or do you have to treat I've it? heard that milk from the cow tastes way different than the milk you buy at the Yeah. It's it's get pasteurized, pasteurized milk. Pasteurized milk. <laughs> it's, possible. it's pasteurized. Louis Pasteur is rolling Isn't it in illegal his grave. To have unpasteurized milk in some places. I don't in know, Bajay. Probably everything is legal, Bajay. <laughs> okay, you get there, there, there's a topic that's been on my mind recently. We're obviously very split over this whole milk issue, but is the Earth actually flat? That's my question. It's not flat. No, you're wrong. No, like, no. I mean, I mean Bajay might think it's you're flat. You're just wrong, Brad. But there's no, like there's yeah, plenty yeah, of evidence right. for both what sides. There is no evidence. Why are we talking honest? about whether the Earth's flat? Wait, wait, it's not wait, flat. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. You gotta think. Of, parm, parm, parm. You gotta consider horseshoe theory. There's the way. I, if you if you think the Earth is flat or you think the Earth isn't flat, there's no difference. It's not flat. You're actually correct. There is no difference oh. in our day-to-day -day life. <laughs> not flat. It's not flat. <laughs> See, but Adi, right, Adi, you did think it was flat. How is that? Look, okay, so for me, for me, for me specifically, it's been a dream of mine to join the Space Force, Donald Trump's Space Force, okay? 
So my plan is to be a Spartan. A Trump and boy. a big thing <laughs> about the Space Force is space, right? So you know, if you're patrolling Earth, you don't want to go under the plate and get stuck under the plate. You want to be able to go around the globe. That's the compelling reason. I think that's pretty, uh, that's pretty logical. I think the Earth's not flat, actually. Yeah. But wait, wait, wait. I have to hear your reasons, Rob. Let me hear your scientific like what if, what right if now. the Earth was like a pancake and it just gets flipped every day? You could add some butter on the top, make it nice and crispy. Flipped, How fast? How fast does it get flipped? It, I mean, that's it, what happened in Australia, flipped, right? Australia it, got wait, crispified, wait, it gets right? Flipped kind of you feel slowly. the acceleration when you're flipping. Yeah, Baje, that's so dim. Then why? how do we not feel the acceleration of exactly. orbit? No, what? we're not accelerating. Wait, no, we are. are we, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Is the world in Minecraft a flat, though? No, it's a cube. Everyone knows this. How does that how does that work? Cube. How does it maintain structural integrity? <laughs> guys, guys, guys. <laughs> how does the sun set and rise if it's an infinite world? That's when the pancake in Minecraft. <laughs> oh wait, wait, you're talking about because <laughs> it's a globe. The Minecraft. Well, I mean, technically world is the world globe. is flat no, in it's Minecraft. It's supposed to be infinite. It's not though. It's it's not. It's Probably Are not. you telling me if you set off in one direction, you will eventually yeah, start? Yeah, Bajay, Bajay, it's really back. big. You can fit, like, a lot of solar systems in it or something, but it's you not can. in. You can fit, like, less than a solar system. A gal, okay, maybe. It's not that large. It's just not that large. <laughs> a gal. Less than a solar system, Adi. A galaxy. A galaxy. Yeah. I learned that in school. <laughs> Speaking of school. Over on the left, we've got the dim guys. Uh... <laughs> Lyndon just well, on the left for me, it's and IJ. I don't know if they're on the left for you guys. Oh yeah, introducing yeah. our our sixth character. Character, he, he's at dinner. Cut this part out, okay? He's, he's eating. Just, just fix We're this. Not putting any of he's this eating. Part. All right. Wait, speaking wait, of wait. school, speaking of school, how have you guys Corona enjoyed time. your guys' days off due to COVID nineteen? Yes. COVID nineteen kind of wacky. How am I supposed to have fun in my everyday life if I can't be mean to Bajay's face every morning? Yeah, Parm, Parm kind of acts as the school bully in this case. He, it's kind of him every day. It's kind of his person. School bully. Yeah. <laughs> bully there's this, there's this, Parm, Parm, is... Parm is an upperclassman, right? There's this underclassman. We call him punk, right? Oh, we're upperclassmen Parm, upper Parm in the hallways is just physically aggressing this poor kid. Just... Pushing over the, the walls, yelling at him. the office for wrestling the bot? <laughs> was it me? Was it me? It was, it was, it was not me. Guess who it was? It was the school ASB president. president. The school president was called to the office for wrestling with a tiny That's, that's not how it was. Gosh, the 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 these days. Do you, these got, you got any evidence of otherwise? Okay. Liar. I have. All right. What's the evidence that that happened? Huh? I'm an eyewitness. I, I agree with Bajay's statement. I mean, okay, I was right. also an eyewitness. I all right, that's three against, against one. one. I might not believe uh, as the vice president, I, I, I can impeach you. All right. I don't know if that's possible. Yeah. Actually. I don't think that's possible. how that works. Unfortunately. We can make it a rule, Varun. <laughs> we can, we, us two can make it a rule in the Constitution, and then I impeach you. That sounds like a play. That sounds a great like plan. a play. I don't think you can make it a rule. We can make it a rule. We can, we can, we can. Yeah. We own the constitution. Oh, Barham's screen just went green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those of you listening right now to our podcast, uh, the full video of this podcast can also be found on Eddie YouTube channel. Uh, we we were talking for eight yeah. minutes, Braden. Brad, why do you look like... <laughs> Braden, we were talking for eight theory. minutes. We're not eight minutes. You can, uh, you can join really seven subscribers. Maybe minutes, like green Eight minutes. In At if least my screen doesn't look like someone committed a nuclear holocaust outside my house. I don't understand what you mean. Uh, he looks I fine on my screen, and that's what matters. Holocaust. His screen's like so blurry for me. Brad, what does oh. that have to do with nuclear? Wait. What happened to her? <laughs> what did you do, I didn't what? do that. Wait, what happened? Varun, do. What happened? I didn't do oh, anything. Go Lynn back. So oh, wait, someone invited Raj. Lyndon added Raj. Well, get rid of Raj. Lynn Thank Lynn you. Thank you. We're fixed. We're fixed. Lyndon. 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 Wait, I have a cool idea. I have a cool idea. We can go through. Um, We can go through. Would you press the button? Talk about other stuff. 
Let's like, not go through. Uh, you just you cut out for me. Yeah, you cut out. Robot. You always press the button. Okay. Okay, okay. So this is a this is a very simple sort of uh, thing. It's like a would you rather, but oh, is that um, the subreddit thing. The no, Baje, it's not the subreddit. Burton, get thing. away from your uh, mic. You're eating your mic now. I'm not. <laughs> All right, can I you guys not. hear me? I think I was cutting. Yeah, no, out. this works. I like that. It's a good idea. Okay. Um. So there's these things called uh. Would you press the button? Where um. Basically, uh, it, it gives you kind of like here's a thing, and then here's a uh, kind of downside to it. So we can we can go through it. So like one of them is like basic one is you get to live in your favorite video game, but would you press that button? You you, you Wait, cut out. But okay, all right. The question was, it's would you press the button if you get to live in your favorite video game, but you have to stay there? Yes. Well, then, what's your favorite video game? Halo. Do you Halo. get to respawn? Halo. Halo. Adi would not make the cut for this part. Do you get to respawn? <laughs> well, it, it depends. Like, what do you end up as the main character, or do well, you? I don't know. Do you I don't like know. It'd be kind of funny if, like, Adi did this. Like, he goes the into main Halo. character of Tetris. <laughs> R would be the block. <laughs> Which block would I be, guys? Which one? The curvy Maybe little short the purple one. <laughs> Is that even a block? <laughs> you know, no, Tetris is Maybe. Tetris is very progressive. Uh, they're all colored characters, and there's only one that's not straight. That's true. Thank mm -hmm. you, Varun. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm here all week. Um, okay, does anyone else have an answer to that? Well, I'm almost certain you stole that. Joke. It'll obviously be Hillo, and I'll obviously be a Spartan. So, yes. Hmm. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, one second. Alright, I'm gonna go to the next one then. Alright. Wait, this is so dim. Everything's sticking forever to Alright, keep keep talking. Keep talking. Hey, is the talking about audio what? quality gonna be this bad when we <laughs> The audio quality's fine. It's really bad. It keeps really good. I don't know what you're talking about. Audio quality. Oh, that's great. Alright, listen, listen. What? Thanks for listening. Arm just yawns. Arm, is your hairline going to go any further back? <laughs> for, for those of you listening to the podcast, if you've ever right, wait, seen wait. The Incredible, Bad Guy Someone Syndrome, else go to that is exactly what Parham looks like. I don't like. want dilemmas. I don't want to sully them. Okay, so this okay, is a good thing. Okay. Dilemmas okay. are the good. If you could... Yeah. If, so Brad, you either, faced a lot of dilemmas. There's two options. Do you cut off both oh. arms or you cut off both legs? What would you choose? Why would I do either of those? If well, you're forced to, obviously, you were forced to. You get rid of legs. You get rid of legs. Legs. I would okay. get rid of legs. Yeah, I'll get rid of legs too. Legs. <laughs> All right, so we we have conclusive agreement. Everyone get rid guys, of legs. Guys, guys, guys. Eggs with legs. Wait. A good, oh, actually, here's a decent, a decent. This is like, would you press, uh, would you press the button? If you kind of have like dead, robot you have boy. like dead. Varun, you're kind of can you robot so any harder? Like, you're like, you're like, you're like, okay? Robot, come back, robot. Uh, robot, we lost him. <laughs> robot, say it again. Say it again. Say one can you time. hear me? Can you yeah, hear me? We, we can hear you, robot boy. I don't know why the internet here is so bad. Um, but okay, all right. Basically, what I was saying is, what I was saying, would you, would you press the if uh, you become immortal and you get kind of like uh, Deadpool powers. But, I mean, the reason why that's like there's a downside to that is like immortality is kind of... Because you can still feel pain and stuff. Wait, wait. Would you be able to end your life willingly? Like, no, no, Bajay. It's literally the issue. No, oh. Bajay. <laughs> Bajay be like, what if there was no downside? Hmm. <laughs> Um, honestly, that's a good question. That's it. That's yeah. honestly okay. We'll, we'll start with Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, what's what's your opinion on this? Okay, so obviously the issue is, hey, I'm never gonna be able to kill myself, so I won't be able to be put myself to peace, like you know the Wolverine issue. But I feel like if it was like a split second decision, and I had to choose right now, I would do it because you know I could do a lot of different stuff because like in a hundred years or something, space, and we'd have stuff to do rather than like right now we're stuck in our homes chilling because of quarantine so i feel like because of the the various stuff i could do 
I would be down doing it. Yeah, but like it's like no... you're it's because Adi lacks all foresight. I mean, I can <laughs> send myself into the sun. Okay, that's gonna kill me. So no, I don't think that. Uh, I don't know if that would. Go. I feel like that's thought. just endless torture. Like yeah. just the way. I, I mean, that's kind of interesting. If Deadpool was in the sun, would he die? Probably. But, I mean, there's more I stuff do, to do because right now we're stuck on Earth. So you can do tons of different stuff. Deadpool? Where you just destroyed the nerve and he nerve. Yeah, Baje, that's so dim. That doesn't kill him. No, but it's like it's a completely new person, apparently. Baje, right? that's dim. That's dim. Baje. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go to let's go to okay. Parm. Parm. What, what about you? Parm, what's your opinion? Yeah. I'm not doing it. It's a dumb idea. You yeah, I wouldn't can't. either. Like, it's look, it's look. Even a question of debate. Yeah, seriously. Imagine if, like, somehow, somehow, you got, like, lost in space. You'd just be at the whim of, like, a gravitational pull. You'd just be trapped somewhere. Like, what if you were in orbit around something? You'd be there for, like, millions of years to do anything like, about it. The chances of that happening are astronomically low. Have you ever heard of any Adi? Adi literally was talking about how we're going to be going to space in like a hundred years or less. And so while you're in space, what if an accident happens? What okay, if someone's well, like, they'd hey, probably what develop if, like what if, someone, something. what if someone is like, hey, you know that super powerful guy who's been going around like doing all sorts of crazy stuff? Vern, Vern, that's like saying, years. hey, what if your parents die? Okay, that's like losing your whole funding for the rest of your lives, right? Like, what? Like, look, look, that's like saying something <laughs> significant in your life just disappears, okay? What if? Like, that's a what if question. I mean, this whole but thing's that, a what if question. But that's a real like, thing you'd have to contend with with immortality. You'd have to, well, I mean, like, obviously, that's a thing you'd deal with probably without immortality. That's like riding like, a bike and worrying to... about tripping. Wait, what? I can't trip. It's, like, it's like riding a bike and worrying about crashing, okay? Yeah, that's, that's a very valid. Valid. But you're not going to be always thinking about crashing when you're riding the bike. You're riding the bike. I mean, if you're, like, a really horrible biker, you are. <laughs> okay, but the yeah, thing is, like generally when you... You've got to bike for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ver Ver Verun, we haven't, Verun, we, haven't, we haven't heard Varun's opinion on this. Well, Verun. I mean, like, I get it. Like, Parm and, I, Parm and I are the more scientifically educated minds here, you see, and we True. both, we both okay. agree that it's a, it's a bad idea. It's it's dim. It's like eternal torture. It's like a like a hell Cricket. type of thing. It's like there are many many ways that that could go very wrong, and way fewer ways that it would end up being like truly, like good forever. Hmm. So the question is, do you want like a hundred or two hundred really sweet years in exchange for like an eternity of torture? I mean, I mean, life is a roller coaster. Right, Baje, we haven't heard your opinion on this. What's yours? Uh, I mean, every all my arguments have been stated. I wouldn't do it. It seems stupid to <laughs> okay. make yourself endure. You'd basically be enduring after a certain point. You wouldn't have any like real reason to live. You'd lose all the people you care about. At first of all, that'd be one of the first things. You could be endlessly tortured. It's just the cons outweigh the pros. See, I, I'm, I guess, the final opinion here, and right now it's currently stacked three not in favor, and Addy is the only person in favor. I'd have to join Addy's side with this. I think that it's... Why? Why? Are I, you I think if you just assess I mean, everything based off the risks, you're never going to take any chances. I mean, there's always going to be a risk Brad, with everything. Dead. But Brad, that's there's also dead. the... Let's just say, just somehow, you may you, you're immortal, right? So eventually you're gonna outlast the human race. You'd be alone. Would you? Could you really live by yourself? You're you're assuming that you like. <laughs> you're you're looking forward in the future, almost like that's assuming the human race ever dies out. Like that's yeah, that's well, such a very real possibility, Brad. It's not just the human race dying out. If you get stranded, you're gonna be living by yourself for very long periods of time. And like lo pretty much for like pretty much forever like to us forever like you could be stuck years. somewhere for a billion years that's like again a, if a that's if you years play yourself stupidly if you to live your life like, smart and you live your immortality smart the chances of that happening to you are pretty no, low 
The okay, but the thing is, are very can't, high because you can't expect what's going to happen in your life. What you happens? Can't go on a what path. happens? It's not. It's not like you have like super strength. Or yeah, something. you don't have total you're control just, like, of your life. Vulnerable. So, so what happens, Brad? If you're in an, in a spaceship and as the guy who's been going around basically like beating up like probably gangs or whatever you do for fame for the past hundred years as the invincible dude, you've made enemies. You go into space because everyone is going to be going into space and. Someone throws you out an airlock. What are you going to do? Not just that. Eventually, you have to understand, immortal means you're never going to die. Not ever. Something could happen that wipes out everything. Like, nothing exists anymore, and you'd be the lie. The universe could end. There could be nothing left but the dissipating black holes in the endless void and then there would also be you there would be you there and what would you do in all that time probably nothing <laughs> okay all right sounds good all right guys thanks for coming out to the first Wait, okay, stb no, podcast stb stands for study time boys if you didn't know i'm Adi. that's parham that's rune and that's ajay and there's Braden's chair so we'll see you guys around we'll be on youtube other stuff like that and i'll comment below other links Stuff like that. Follow me on Instagram at underscore audio. Watching audio. Right, that was very bad.